I see my nephew Curly is on. Curly is strong, son. We welcome him. We have, oh, so we got two people on Curly and the so. Okay, we got two Steins from Lake Wood on. Like it's the cool. old days. Like the old days. That's cool. Much We welcome you guys. <laughs> You guys, no, nothing like a little Kabbalah from Yeah, Yago Stoyal probably thinks he's going to get a little coven. Maybe he'll take a day off. He could give the shear again. Ah, there you go. <laughs> Maybe. Wasn't Maybe. a day off, Aaron. It was an Israel trip. No? But, uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Soil, Soil's probably gearing up for something like that, if I know him. He loves that coven that you throw. Um, yeah. Hold on one second. One second. I'm sorry. That. If anybody, if any, anybody's you know, interested, the, the Netta Gavrio has like a whole bunch of pages about Nitalat. Oh, the different on hug and hug is from the different Sadiqim. He has it's very nice, the Netta Gavrio. Um, yeah, happy I, birthday! Yeah, actually, it's the rabbi's birthday. Yes, it's my birthday. <laughs> thank you very much, Naftali. Hey, no. we're very, we're very happy you're there. <laughs> um, actually, a guy texted me today. Should he learn tonight? I said, yes, you should learn tonight. It's Bittel Torah if you don't. So he, so he says to me, he says, is the Netik of real not a real, uh, uh, not a oh, real oh, not? <laughs> So I said, no, the Netik of real is a very fine safer, but it's Chassidish, and that's not our deal. So, uh, yeah, whatever. So I got stuck my foot in my mouth with that one a little bit today. <laughs> but anyways, <coughs> um, here we go. I see somebody just texted. Can he be together? Can he be together with his wife tonight? Because it's nipple now. What's your answer? I ain't nothing of real. What he says he's not allowed to. <laughs> uh, you can't learn. Here we go. Another one. Is there real in you not to learn on nipple now? Yeah, I'm not. Write it back to him, Casey. Yeah. Anyways, okay. Well, enough this of this. Is what I want to leave. Enough of this. Now nah, you some. This was a whatever. Call about a tzedakah. It's not nourish. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, so we're up to we're up to about uh, six lines, six of the wide lines down in the on on Nunal from the base. Yeah. So overall, of a Rishon like you said. So we said in the Mishnah that you have a, a borrow from partners. So yesterday's that we discussed what the how you have a borrow partners in Rosh Hashanah, but you have a borrow partners, and the one guy was there. The first guy was there, and he didn't cover the bar, right? So then he's not chayev. The second guy, the second guy who was there, he's the one that's responsible, right? Like we said, this is basically like uh, you have two teenage kids, and you tell each one to be in charge, and then neither one of them, right? They both end up not taking care of it, and each one says, "Ah, because the other, I thought the other one was taking care of it." And the other one says, "I thought the other one was taking care of it," right? So that that's that's exactly what went on over here. Fine. So, but the bottom line is the Mishnah says that the first guy's putter, the first guy's putter until he, he, uh, until when? That's the question. That's exactly what I was questioning. How, for how long is the first guy putter? Meaning you cover over your bar and you never have to go back and check on it. Right? Is that, is that, that's what's mashma maybe from the Mishnah. Mm. Right? The first guy, you, you covered it, you don't have to check up on it. Or do you? Right? That, that would be the, that would be the Machloikas. Uh... About the checking it sits is all the other things that you, some people say you got to check every time, and some people say you right. never have to check it. What do you have to right. check it for? And a chanami, right? So it would, it would depend. It would depend on when the chazaka gets broken. So how, meaning how how often do you have to expect for your bar to to lose its cover, right? So the gemara says, "Verishan me'emas mifta." And so when is he? Uh, um, from when is he potter? Right, so Rabbi Rav Yosef, the Amrit Tavai, Rabbi Yosef, both say Mishmei the Rabbi Bar Rachana, the Amr Mishmei the Rabbi the Rabbi Mani, Chad Amar Mishem the Nicha Mishdamish. He's Potter from when he put, lets the second guy use it. Meaning once once the first guy, what well, we I think I maybe <coughs> it the wrong way. Meaning at what point does the first guy become Potter? Right. So the first sheet is that when he. Leaves it with the second guy. He says, you, you're in charge now, he tells the second guy. I'm done, you're in charge. It's from when he hands him over the cover to the, that's the way Rashi learns it, right? the cover of the pit. He hands it over to him and says, here, the pit's open now. Here's the cover to the pit. You make sure you 
cover it. If he did that, can I, can I ask you something? It said Rabbi and Rav Yosef the Armor Tarvayu, right? If they said it together, and then it says Chad Amr and Chad Amr, <laughs> they didn't say it Tarvayu. What is what is the Chad Vachad if they said it Tarvayu? Are you still asking technically? Yeah, it's well. What does that? What? What? Yeah. What does it mean? Chad Omer, Chad Omer. If they said it together, then tell me that if they said it. The, yeah, uh, Rachim, they're it. doing it. Dafka in this case, we have two shoot from in the bar. <laughs> they don't. The two shoot from don't know what they're doing. Never. And somebody got hurt. They say that's why. That's my why. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's and, a good. That's okay. my kind of answer. Okay. I, I right. think I, I think I have a little different answer, but I like that answer too. <laughs> they're both, it says that they're both saying their din over. They they didn't say it. Rabbi and Rabbi Yosef were not saying it from themselves. When it says, Damri Tarvayu Mushmei the Rabbi Rachan, the Dam Mushmei the Rabbi, they're both saying it in the name of this and this, and in name of Rabbi Rachana, in, in the name of right. Rabbi, but they're disagreeing as to right. what Rabbi Rachana and said the Shane Rabbi. Meaning the same way you have one guy says Ramosha Feinstein said this, and then the other guy says, oh, I'm telling you Ramosha Feinstein said the exact right, They both opposite. said Ramosha Feinstein said, one said this, one said that. So you see there's, there's precedence. Right? There's precedence. But anyways. So, okay. One of them said once he leaves the, the first guy there, once he leaves the second guy there, and the other one is when he gave over, when he, when he handed him over the cover. What is the practical difference between these two? So Pashtas is if he just went away and he didn't give him the cover, so that means that the first one's still responsible. Right? Meaning once if he according to the second sheet, if he handed him the cover, so he said, Okay, here's the cover. Now it's your 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 deal. But if he just walked away, then not. That Lakhara, that's what it means. So the one says, Ketanai, that's not like Mahmadala Maim and Abar. If somebody's taking water out of a bottle, give me the bucket. And I'm also going to, to take water. Since he leaves and using it, so he's potter. Right? Again, these are mice and yain. Right? Somebody uses something. The other guy says, hey, I'll tell you where it really comes up. Ah, right? It's, uh, uh, look, covered my nephew, right? You leave a basketball on the basketball court. Right? Here's the right? And the kids come and say, hey, can I borrow your ball? He says, okay, you take the ball, but you're responsible. Then, of course, the kid leaves it there because he doesn't remember that he says he's responsible. Right? So now, did he Did he not? Right? So that's exactly, did he, did he take responsibility or did he not? So, so we're saying, since he left him the ball, let's call the ball, but here we're talking about the bar, send his potter. No, it's only when he has to actually hand him over the ball or the cover. Okay, what's the pshan of the machloek? The second yeah. guy doesn't, doesn't put the milk back in the yeshiva's fridge. He's supposed <laughs> to put it back. You left <laughs> it out for him. You're being nice right. without him. And this guy never puts it away. That's another That's another good example. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. So, right. So, what's the machloek? Because Rebbe Lazar and Yaakov Savar Yesh Breira, there is Breira, right? And meaning... Again, a quick hazard of what Breira is. Breira really means that there's a retroactive choice. Meaning, if somebody makes a decision right now, it will tell us that in the past, that decision was made. Meaning, if you have partners, <coughs> saying that the partners are in the, they're both partners in the bar. That's what we're talking about. The two people own the bar. So, if you say that this Breira, so then each one is taking from their, their section of the bar. Right, and Mamela, they're responsible. Each one's responsible for their own section, right? But if you say that there's no Breira, so then they were both. They both own. Each one owns a chelik of the bar. So therefore, it the second guy would be responsible. So again, let's see. This one was filling up from his section of the bar. And this guy was six, six filling it up from his section of the bar. So Mamela. That each one does not take responsibility on the other part of the bar. But Rabban and Sabri ain't braver, and the Rabban say there's no braver, right? So maybe when they're taking water, he's basically borrowing it from his other guys. And once you take the water, then each one gets to keep the water. I mean, we don't say that in retroactively the water was considered theirs. It happens. Fine. So Amar Abinu Vagul Tamayu, 
And they both go according to the reasoning the Tana Shutfin Shinodru Hanaza Mizah. So we had this in the Dharam. You have two partners, and like what unfortunately happens many times with partners, right? They stop talking to each other. So they make a nether from each other. The problem is they own the building. So now what? They make a nether <coughs> that they're not going to benefit from each other. So the Tanakama says, if you made a nether, that each one of you is not going to be benefiting from each other. It's also to be going to the chatzah of the, each other because each each inch or centimeter of the chatzah belongs to each one. This one goes into his, and this one goes into his, meaning that we're going to say that each one gets gets half. But my commitment, Rabbi Lazar, my Yaakov Sava, Yesh Breira, he holds this Breira. Hail the Nafshei Ayel, the Hail the Nafshei Ayel. This one is going into his part of the Rishos, and he's this one's going into his part. Meaning, we look at it like it's split down the middle. The Rabbanon Savri ain't Breira, and the Rabbanon hold there's no Breira. Okay, so that's the shot in this machlok. So I'm Rabbi Lazar, a micro bar lo chaveira. The guy sells a bar to his friend. Kivan shemasal like delyoy kana. Once he, meaning, if how do you do a kinyan right when you do a purchase? You need to do a kinyan. Right. So how do you do how do you do a Kenyan on a bar? So since you hand over the cover to the bar that and he picks it up, then he's being kind of the bar. So if it was silver, meaning if they were doing it a Kenyan Kesa. So when he pays for the bar, he picks up the money and he's kind of the bar. And if it's with Chazaka, which is you have to do something physical to the bar, let's say by uh um Taking water out of it, or putting a fence around it, or something like that. And so then, why is any kind of a chazaka? Why, why are we saying this fancy kinyan of handing over the cover to the bar? So, my answer We're talking about that he's doing the chazaka. The, the seller is supposed to tell the buyer, go and be mechat, take take it and be kind of. And since he hands him. Over the cover, that's as if he said, Go be kind and do a chazaka on the bar. So essentially, he is doing a chazaka. This is just a fancier way of, or maybe less fancy way of doing chazaka. Not sure. Um, yeah, fine. So, I'm going to be and Levi. I'm going to buy a chavera. If a guy sells us as a bias, there's the same Gemara, just uh, right now, till now we did with the bar, now we do with selling a house. So I'm going to buy a chaveira. I'm going to buy a look now. Kivan shemosel lemachteach kona. Once you hand over the key, so then you're kind of the house, right? This week, this comes up in Pesachim. Uh, who's if you sell a house and every Pesach, who's chayiv to do the bedikas chametz, right? So it depends when the mesiras amachteach was. If it was done on after the evening of Pesach, so then the guy coming in has got to do. The, the guy going out has to do it. If it's before that, then the guy coming in has to do it. So you sense, you hand over the, the, the keys, and you kind of said, I want to ask, I'm sorry, if it was with silver, so we kind of with silver. So the answer is, it's really with the chazaka. Really, he, should, he has to tell him, go, you do a chazaka and be kind of my house. The kimon shemosel mafteach, and once he hands over the mafteach, command the amr le lech chazek the kanei dami. It's as if <coughs> he said, "Go, be kind." Okay. Amar ishlakas v'shem Reb Yanei. Hamaycher eider lechaver. Let's say you're selling a uh, an eider as a flock. You're selling a whole flock of uh, animals to your friend. Kimon shemosel mashkuches kana. Once you hand him over the mashkuchis, which we'll see in the Gemara what this is, and the then he's kind. Okay, hey chidami, what's the case? Even mashicha, if you want to do the kinny with mashicha, lick me mashicha, so be kind with mashicha by pulling all the animals. Even masira, and if it's with handing over, lick me masira, meaning you're going to hand it over, which is usually handing over with the, how do you call it? Uh, the reins, right? Right, Rachim of the reins. Yeah, you hand over the reins. Yeah. Um, I think unless it's a unless it's a lambs. A halter, halter. Oh, remember? Halter. I knew you had your own shot. I knew the reins. Were yeah, over. I had it. I couldn't get to the button fast enough. Yeah. <laughs> right. 
stars. Yeah, <laughs> I think it means either, if the Hulk. Like right? a leash, like a leash. Yeah. Yeah, a leash. Okay, a leash. We'll go. We'll go very simple. We'll city for the city folk. A leash. Yeah. Okay. So even Masira, looking at Masira, right? Why are you doing this fancy thing of the mashkuches? It's for the lead animals, not the reins of each sheep. Well, yeah, you know they have to do each one, correct? Yeah. They want to answer Lailam be Mashicha. Really, it's talking about where he wants to be kind of this this whole flock with Mashicha. Go pull it and be kind of the the muscle and And since he handed him over a Mashkuchis, command It's as if he said, take the pull the whole all the animals. Right? So say three Gemaras are gonna in a row. The first one was with bar. The second one was a with a bias, and the third one was a flak. Okay, my mashkuchis. What is this mashkuchis? karkashta. So here, meaning in Bavel, they call it a karkashta, which is basically the bell, like the bell that the shepherd calls the animals with. So once you hand over the bell, that's as if you're giving over. That's the Kenyan. Of Yaakov Eimer, Iza the Ozla Beresh Edra. It's the lead goat. Right, the Iza the Ozla Beresh Edra, the, the goat that goes at the top of the, the head of the flock. To the Dara Shahu Glila, a leader of Christa. So the person from from Galil said to said, on said by Rav Christa, Karogis Raya Al Ana when, Peroigis when he gets upset when the shepherd gets upset on on the flock, Ovid Lenegda Samusa. So then he he takes the front the the. The leader of the goats, he makes them blind. Right, a wild Rashi here, a wild Rashi which may or may not. Uh, Elio, I think this is for you. This Rashi, if you're on over here, the last Rashi before the Mishnah. Um, Yisrael, this is also be for you, right? That when Klai, Rashi says that when Hashem is upset at the uh, at Klai Yisrael, I mean, Rashi says Misayna Yisrael. Right, then he is Mamana Parnasim Shain and Mahugonan. He he appoints leaders who are not proper. <laughs> right? And then they mislead people. Yeah, we see this, whatever. Right? I'm even young and whatever I'm referring to, each one knows their own probably experience. They probably experience this, right? <laughs> that uh yeah, sometimes you get leadership that doesn't seem to be doesn't seem to be leading or mis or it's misleading. That means when Hashem is not so happy with Claudia Israel. Okay, so many. So the same thing with the shepherd. When the shepherd's upset at the leader, the uh, so he will he'll he'll stop the leader, and then uh, he'll blind the leader, and then the leader will, will mislead everybody. Yeah, I don't know. Is this? I guess. I, Rashi saying that that's the is Rashi saying this shot on his own, or is he saying that that's what that the Galila was saying this to Rav or is Rashi just slotting in a Musa here? Or is that what the Kavana was of the Gemara? Right? I wasn't sure. Okay, I, I don't know. Wherever it is, the Musa is, uh, is an important Musa. Fine, Zakti Mishnah. Kiseo Arishan. Right, so if the first guy covered over the bar, and then the second guy came and found it open. So again, the first guy did his job, unlike what we said on the the previous Ahmed, where the first guy, where the first guy um, left it open for the second guy. Here, the first guy closed it, and then the second guy came and found it open, right? The like you saw, Shani, and the second guy didn't cover it up. So then, hi, it. So then, I, second, I guess the first guy had aid him that he closed it, right? He had uh, got to be some proof, right? Well, if I mean, can... he's just saying he closed it. Too. I, I, I got to believe him. But if he said, well, well, them, so then... well, the Mishnah said he closed it. So what's more, more of an aid is that a ton of the Mishnah saying the guy closed it? Yeah. Um, hey, if they're going to fight about it, yes, then it'll have to be proof that he covered it 100%. I would think. All right? I mean, there's, there's a deal to be made here um, in the Rashi. Um, 
See, because Rashi says if if the first guy didn't cover it and the second guy came and found it open and he didn't cover it, then they're both high. Right? I mean, this is the one where the first guy covered it. The second guy, the second guy, um, either he uncovered it or he found it uncovered. Mashma, right, that if the first guy didn't cover it, so then even though the second guy didn't cover it either, you can't go after the second guy. You got to go after both. Right? Anyways, okay. So, so, but that, that that's it. So in this case, the first guy covered it. The second guy found it open. He's uh, Chayim. The second guy's Chayim. Kisel Karoi, if they covered it properly, <coughs> right? Either one guy or two guys, don't make a difference. But not for the Sorry And anyways, the Shorah Hamor fell into a mace and he died. Potter, he's Potter. Like you say, okay, but if he didn't cover it properly, but not for the such a shark and a shark fell into a mace and they died, chayef, and he's chayef, right? Pretty, pretty straightforward, right? If you covered it properly and an animal fell in there, anyways, you did yours, you're fine. If you didn't cover it properly, so you didn't do yours, so you're chayef, right? So we have to see in the Gemara what the Kiddush is with that. Not for the fun of Mikol Hakriya, let's say it fell forward, which we'll see tomorrow's daf as the Shem will exactly what this means, but if it fell forward. Because of the noise that's going on in the bar, right? Novel of Mikol Hakriya Kriya means mm. right. So there's, a, there's a sound that the digging makes, and it and it scares the it scares the animal, and the male animal falls in head first. Chayev, he's going to be Chayev. Laacharov Mikol Hakriya, but if it fell in backwards because of the noise, then Potter, then they're going to be Potter. We'll just have to wait for the Gemara to in tomorrow's daf to figure this out. Another interesting thing: if a shar and its utensils fell into the to the bar, chamor bekelav biniskaru, and the chamor and its kelav and it got torn. All right. So Rashi says, what What's the difference? A shar says broken, and chamor says it got torn. So Rashi says because a shar has actual utensils that break, a chamor doesn't usually carry utensils; it has blankets. Or or clothing on it, so that gets torn. Just a technical point. Either way, the utensils um, and the bar and the and the shor or the chamor get damaged. So chayav ala behema or potter ala kalim. You're chayav on the behema, but you're potter for the kalim. Right? We'll see in the Gemara also from Pesukim that that's that's where that thing comes from. Nafal asayich a shor chayra shayt of a katan. Okay, this doesn't mean. That a shar belonging to a chayr shayt of a cotton. It means that the shar was a chayr shayt of a cotton, right? I don't know how, I guess you have to have analytics for, uh, they have therapists for the animals too, figure out it's a chayr shayt. How are you supposed to figure out if a shar is a shayt? I mean, I guess it doesn't, it runs around like a shayt, the chayr, right? Or, uh, or, I don't know, it's chayr, I guess it doesn't listen. How do you know if an animal doesn't listen? If it's a sh- you're muted, Rabar. You're muted. There Rabar. are like dogs. I mean, I mean, I, I know with dogs they, they can they can tell you know if they can hear or not. If, if so you they give respond. it a hearing, give it a hearing test. Something like that. I say back then they didn't have hearing tests. I don't think. I was. Uh, Jacob, I said it. You I, muted, yeah. I said it went to steal second. It was losing eight nothing, and it went to steal second. So you know it's a shite. So. <laughs> it's he's a shaita, or maybe he didn't. Uh, maybe he didn't. Uh, he didn't listen to the. How do you know he's a, he's a shaita, or he didn't just didn't listen to the? It's maybe not... both. This is mine. This is a Okay. Anyways, I don't know how you know whether he's a shaita, or whatever. But the bottom line is, it's the shor that's the issue. So chayev. Um, you're chayev, right? Um, fine. Ben, so that then again, also we'll see in the Gemara. Ben oibas, if you have a kid, eved oyama or a eved or a female eved potter, then you potter on that, and you potter on them too, right? Yeah. So again, we have to see because why should you be potter? Meaning, a kid, you dig a hole and a kid falls into it, you potter. Right, we have to see in the Gemara why that should be. If anything, you should be chayev. You got to make sure that your shmirah for your bar has to be has to be 
what do you call it? Kid friendly. It's got to be kid friendly. Right? It's mashma that all these, <laughs> all these uh, disclaimers on every piece of uh, whatever that says choking hazard. Da 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 da. I'm not so sure you'd be mechayev because of that. Depending if you look at it like it's a bar, right? Okay, we'll have to see in the Gemara. Fine. So Gemara asks for Rishon and Amos Mifter again, going in the case of the Mishnah, which is that we said that the first guy covered the bar, the second guy found it uncovered. So how long does the first guy putter for, right? Amar Rav Shayeda. Rav says with the amount of time that a person should know, right? That uh, that the bar is covered. I don't know exactly what that what what amount of time would that be. Is that like what the next? Is that like the next davening time? It says, but the time that he should know. Does that mean that until he walks by and sees it, sees it open? Could be. If that's what it means, that means if the guy decides to check on his bar, his bar is closed, and he goes off to the Bahamas for a month, so then he's fine. It's only till he sees it the next time. Right? It, meaning the guy could say, I never saw it. So then he's putter. Sounds like that's what he means, Rob. Shmuel Amar Uhu. It has to be enough time that people will tell him that his bar is uncovered. Right? Meaning if he once the people come and say, Hey, we told you three days ago that your bar opened up, from then he's going to be chayat. Right? That's the second sheet of Rabbi Yochanan Amar Bekidei Sheyidu V'yizkor Poylem V'yichres Arozim V'yichaseno. It has to be enough time that they tell him that his bar is open. He has to be able to go get the Mexicans, who can then go cut down wood to now cover the bar. So he gives a he gives a lot he gives a lot of time, right? Fine. Okay, so again, those are three sheets. Either the amount of time that he sees it or the amount of time where he can be told about it, or with uh, or the amount of time that he's told about it, and to go get workers, cut down the wood, and schlep it over there and cover the bar. Fine. Kiso Karoy, then the next case in the mission is where he covered it properly, and a Sharo Hamor fell into it, and, and then he's potter, because he did it properly. So Gamar asks, Kivan the Kiso Karoy, well, if he covered it properly, hey, he not was had to fall in there, right? A very balabakisha, simple question. It says that he covered over the bar correctly. So if he covered over the bar correctly, so how did it fall in? Right? Same thing. You tell a you tell a kid, right? He says, "Yeah, I did it perfect. I did it." So if you did it perfect, so then why did it fail? Right? So Amar Rav Yitzchak Bar Chana Shetliyam Misaychay. It's talking about where it got wormy, meaning the bar looked like it was okay. But inside of it, it the wood got worn away. And Mamela, it got worn away, so it couldn't hold up. It couldn't hold up the animal. Right? So, um, so I mean, you have to say from this, why wasn't he not mechuyiv to do an, an examination of his bar cover to make sure that it's legit? No? If the health department would come down, wouldn't they make you check to make what I don't know what they what would they what would they say? If you had a bar in your basement in your building, Naftali in the Bronx or whatever in Manhattan, and you have a hole there, you don't think the health department's gonna make you in the <laughs> how about in the nursing home? They're not gonna make you what, check. Let's say something you have to inspect every six months. So one day before the six months ended, then it fell apart. The attacker worked for for uh, hundred and seventy-nine days. How about if the wood was rated to withstand a certain amount of weight and a particularly heavy laden animal went on there more than what it's supposed to typically carry and it broke? The guy did, did his due diligence, but a cow still fell through. Well, why did it fall through? Because it had a maybe lot of extra stuff on it. So maybe it's his, the, the, the Balashar. Maybe, maybe he's not high because the Balashar it was a sign up the road only holds two tons and right exactly yeah. well okay so that's sort of the gemara's next shiloh i'm not sure exactly what you if you if this is exactly what you what you're saying but uh well i mean you're saying then he, wouldn't he be an honest if you say that uh <coughs> the guy did did his his due diligence but yet it still fell through 
It doesn't mean he didn't do his due diligence if it fell through. Not necessarily. And a Hanami, right. Yeah, no, I hear what you're saying. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, I mean, it, but that's sort of out of his, uh, out of his, it's not under his control, right? L'chayra. Okay, so let's see the next shayla. Maybe we'll we'll shed some lights. Ibayluhu. Kiso kisa shayachalam lefnei shvarim. He covered it with a with a cover that would work for an ox. Ve'en yachalam lefnei gemalim, but it would not be able to hold up a camel. Right? I guess camels are heavier than oxen. I guess so. This was mashu from this gemara. So, anyway, so basically. You know, he used the 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 thousand pound uh, cover. cover, and he should have used, or maybe he shouldn't have used the two thousand pound cover. How well? How much does it have to withstand? That's basically what I'm saying. How much? He was asking, how much does it have to withstand? So again, he covered it with a with a maximum weight for a shore, and then and then a camel came. Yeah. So now what? So vaasu gemalim varu, and then camels came. And they made it bad, right? So basically, what it means, they made it bad. They didn't break the cover; they just weakened it. That's what Rashi says. But also shvarim and then came the shvarim and fell into it. So then, my, what's the din? The guy, the camel guy, should pay for it. He ruined it. What? The camel guy should pay for it. Who? Well, why? Who? He says, ruined it. He wasn't supposed to go there. The camels. How do you know? Well, that's, it's, that's only, it's only he only had to do for shvarim. So only how do you know he had to do for shvarim? That's the gemi gemara shaila. That's exactly I mean, who many what first thing you gotta figure out is what what how much how many how much weight does it have to withstand? Then we can find out whether he did something right or wrong. But again, let's just make sure we get the picture correct. He it <coughs> couldn't withstand camels, and the, the camels went on it, but they didn't break it. Because if they broke it's pasha that the camel would they'd be high for the camel. Right? So they just they just damaged it and then it's uh and then it fell into it. So what's the din? So Amri, hey, he done, what's the case? Either Shrihi Gamalim, we put him at a place where the camels are common. Pesheo, right? He's a Pesheya, he's negligent. He didn't put on a cover that could withstand the weight of a camel. Be the Lashri Gamalim, and if it's somewhere where there are no Gamalim, they're honest. He's an Inus. Why he shouldn't have expected a camel to be there. A camel came and weakened his cover, so he should be responsible. So our answer is like Sri Dasu the Prokim. It's talking about where camels sometimes come by. They're not usually there, but they it's, they happen, they be around them. Me and Rinan, do we say, since sometimes camels do walk by, so he has to make sure that it can withstand uh, a camel. The Baile Asuke it should have been on his das that a camel could potentially walk over his bar. Or he could say, no, when he's putting his bar cover on there, there's no camels around. So why does he have to put a camel weight, a camel, one that would withstand a camel? So on the suit, and therefore he's an item. So basically, it's the same old thing that anybody has when they deal with the government watchdogs, right, and the health department, et cetera, et cetera. Do you need to find, you need to do the maximum protection or only the protection that's meant to be at that particular, uh, in that particular time and place? So Tashima, Kisel, Karai, he covered it, Karai. And he fell in a shor chamar and died. Potter, he's potter. Hey, he done. What's the case? Ile mikaroi the shvarim mikaroi the gemalim. If we're talking about that, he made it for shvarim and gemalim. Hey, he How did it fall in there? So that can't be right. So ella lav kiroi the shvarim. What must it mean? Is he did it for shvarim? Don't get scared of some advice. It's pretty much very repetitive, right? The loy. So it, it was it was able to hold a shor. It was not able to hold a gummel. Be the shrihi gemalim. So if we're talking about a place where there's many camels, on my potter, why is he potter? He only put up a, a shor rated cover. He didn't use, he didn't put a camel rated cover. Be the loy shrihi gemalim. And if there's no camels there, pshita onasu. It's pasha, he's an inus. A camel showed up. Why should it, Why should he have to make a cover that could withstand the camel's weight? Elulav. So, I mean, so we don't know what the case is. So, Elulav, the Asya and the Prokha must be talking about where camels came here and there. Basu Gemal and Varu. And then the camels came and ruined it. Basu, meaning they didn't they didn't break it totally, but they they weakened it. Basu Shwaram and then the Shwaram came and fell into it. Because we learned Potter the Potter. Amor, Kivan, the Hashta, Leka, 
Anusu, since right now it's not here, then Mamela, he's he's an Inus. Right? So Lakhara, we have an answer to the question. Right? That we're talking about that in a situation where he made it for a shar, not for a camel. The camel went and weakened it. And then the shar fell in. And we're saying that it's Potter. So Mamela, because he's an Inus. So my answer is Amri on the on the last of the thin lines. Amri. Loi, loi, lom, kiroi. The shvarim of kiroi lagmal. We're talking about where it was, it was roi for a shar and camels. And you have a kasha, okay, so if it was roi to withstand camel and oxen and shar, so then how did it fall in? It's talking about where it got wormy inside. So it's essentially, it was just a repeat of the previous Gemara, just with an, an, added, an added wrinkle of that it was talking about a camel and a shark. Okay, so Toshima. Now we're going to go the other way. Because again, there was, in the Mishnah, there was a Reisha and a Seifa. In the Mishnah, the Reisha had said that if you watch the camel correctly, I mean, I'm sorry, if you watch the, if you cover the bar correctly and an animal falls in, you're putter. And then the Seifa was, if you don't watch it correctly, if you don't cover it correctly, then you're chayit. So we're going to have the same shakalataria that we just had now, but backwards. So Tashima, Loki so Karan, if you didn't cover it properly, but not full of Sarka Shara Khamar Umais, and a Shara and a Khamar or a Khamar fall into it, you chayat. So if you then what's the case, even like Karai the Shwar and like Karai like Mala, if it means that it wasn't a proper cover, not for ox and not for camels, Pshita, it's Pashat your it's Pasha your chayat. So you call a member the chayat, you need to say that you chayat, you didn't put a proper cover. Elulav kiroi l'shvar and v'loi kiroi l'gmal. It must be somewhere in the middle, where you put a cover on that would work for a shar, but it wouldn't it wouldn't work for a camel. Say so, hechidami. What's the case? Idishchichi gemalim. If we're talking about where the where there's camels around the lots, and then peshehu because you didn't put a cover on that could withstand the camel. Be the loishchichi gemalim. And if there's no camels and a camel showed up, so then honestly you're an oynus. What's the case? Elulav. The Asi and the Prokim must be where the camel comes sometimes. For Asi Gemalim, for Ru, and then the, those camels that sometimes come there ruin the cover. For Asu Shvarim, for Nafu Lavar, and then the Shvarim came and fell into it. The Katani Chayev, and the Mishnah says, Yechayev, Alma, even the Asi and the Prokim, Pesheyahu, since it comes once in a while, so you're a Pesheyah, and that's why you Chayev. The Baile Yasuke Daitish, he should have known about it. So therefore, it answers our question that if you make a bar cover that could only withstand Shvarim, and not camels, and camels do show up there once in a while, you're going to be chayim, because you should have thought that a camel may show up. Again, it's not a case where the camel never shows up, because that for sure is an Inus. It has to be talking about where a camel sometimes shows up. We're talking about where he made it for shvarim, and he didn't make it for camels, and the camels are coming. Okay, so then he should be chayim. With the kashalach pesheo, then he's negligent, so he should be chayev. No, I did the nasev reisha kisel karoi. Since in the reisha it says if he covered the karoi, he's potter. Nasev sefer nami like kisel karoi. The sefer says he didn't cover it properly, but it doesn't really, um, um, it doesn't really make a difference. So there's no riot. Okay, so that's the opposite. Ikadamri. Now the gemara says this whole gemara with a slight different twist. Honami vada loy 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 we don't have a, a Shiloh with this. The Kim and the Asi and the Prokim, Pesheo. Since the camel comes sometimes, and you're Pesheo, if you don't cover it with a camel rated cover, right? The boy Sugi because you should have known that camels sometimes show up, so therefore you have to cover your bar with a camel rated cover. Ki Bailon, Hachi Hudi Bailon. What's the Shiloh? Kiso Kisa Sheyacholam of Nei he covered it with a cover that was able to be used by Shvarim. Right? That's just the standard case we said. Again, he covered it with a ox-rated cover, and, and it would not be able to hold a camel. And it's common for camels to come there. And it got wormy inside it. And therefore, Mela, it couldn't hold anything. Mouse, and then what's it in? Since he was a Peshea from the Gemalim, meaning since he his cover was never a proper cover for camels, 
have a peshea namidin in hatala, then he's also peshea for the worm, the worms. I do maloy amrin amigo, we don't say migo. So this is very similar to a concept that we have that's called in the tosis, that's the long tosis, that's part of the long tosis, is what we call tchilase b'pshia b'saipa b'aynus. Right, meaning, what happened here? The guy made a cover. He should have made a cover for camels because it was an area where the camels are common. He only made the cover for a shark. So really, the guy was right off the bat irresponsible. But in the end of the day, it was wormy. And because of that, the shark got damaged. So he could say, one second, it got wormy. I'm an eyewitness for that. I think I'm already said, for whatever reason, Wormy, you're not responsible for, right? So he can say, well, the shark fell in because it was wormy. That's one way you could say it. Or you could say, no, your cover was not good in the first place because it could not withstand the camel and there's tons of camels around. So don't say that you, that, uh, that you're potter because a camel wasn't damaged and the shark, it was only a shark and your cover was good enough for the shark because Lamaisa, your cover was not good enough for the camel. So you did, you were irresponsible with your, with your cover, right? It's almost like you have a violation in the home, right? And then something happens, not because of that violation, but when they come and they see that there was a violation, so then they nail you and they say, you see, you were irresponsible, even though the thing that happened had nothing to do with the violation, right? It makes, it makes, uh, right? It makes sense. They'll come after you for that. So that's exactly the Gemara Shaila. You, you had a violation in your cover because it would not have covered, no pun intended, it would not have covered, um, it wouldn't have uh, withstood Camels, right? The mice are the damage didn't happen to the camel. The damage happened to the shore, which your cover was good enough for. But the bottom line is, is you still didn't do a proper cover. So do we say migo? It's not. It's not your standard migo. Meaning migo since since your cover was no good for camels, mamel it's no good for shore either. So tashima. Now we're going to go through the same two rayas from the mission. One from the Rish, one from the Sefer. Tashima, kiseo kuroi. If you covered it properly, and then a shor chamor fell into it and died, potter your potter, meaning because you covered it properly. The domer got wormy inside it. So then hey domi, if you say that the cover was good enough for ox and camels, with liam misayich, and then it got wormy inside, cheated the potter. It's poshut that he's potter. My havale lemever. What should he have done? How's he supposed to know that inside his wood cover? There were worms. Elulav peroy l'shvarim v'loy peroy l'shvarim v'loy peroy l'gmalim. It's all my word. It was good enough for a shor, but not for a camel. The shichi gmalim and the camels were common. The tliyam is saicha and it got wormy inside it. The katani potter and we learned that he's potter. Amla loyam rinon bigu david peshel inin gmalim david peshel inin hatla. So you clearly say that we don't say since he was a peshel for a gmal, he's a peshel for the worms because he we say he's potter. So it says, loy, loy, lim, karoy, lugamal, karoy, The cover was good enough for camels and shores. With Tliya Misaycha, and it was wormy inside. With the Kakasha law, then we have a Kasha, Kiya Tliya, my Havale Lamever. When it got wormy, what should he have done? Mao, the same way you buy a little maze, a little You would have thought he should go to the cover and bang on it, right? And if you bang on it, and then you'll hear it. I think that's what it means. It means you'll hear it. Right, and you'll hear if it's hollow. I think, but I'm not sure. Or is it that the worms are going to fall out of it? Kamash Malon. So it comes to tell us that you're not mechuyif to do that. Right? You know what they say with raspberries? They say if you want to see if there's bugs in raspberries, so you drop it on the floor. You, you drop it from like a few feet on a white piece of paper, raspberries and blackberries, and you'll see the bugs crawling all over the white paper. I tried it. I didn't find any, but that's no chiddush, <laughs> right? But that's what they say. So I don't know. Is that what they meant to say to do here? Bang on the, bang on the wood, so then you'll see the worms come out because they're scared. Or is it if the worms ate it, you'll be able to bang on it and you'll be able to hear, right? So I don't know. And I guess the equivalent of bismanazeh would be to use a uh, what do you call that thing you put against the wall to find the beam? Uh, I'm fine. I'm a what? Stud finder. Stud finder, right? You need a stud finder. Put it up against the, the wood cover and see if it's, it finds, if it doesn't find any any studs, that means your, your wood is pretty schwach. I don't know. 
Okay, so that's one way the raya. Then we have the other way. Toshima, loiki seo karai, right? The safer the Mishnah that he didn't cover the bar correctly. Benavala said, a shara chamar o mace, and a shara chamar fell into it and died. Chai, he's chai. Hey, you know what's the case? Elaine would like karai, the shvar, and would like karai, the gumalim. If you're going to say that, why is he chayiv? Because the cover wasn't going to work, not for oxen and not for camels. You need to say he's chayiv. Of course he's chayiv. Elolav, k'roi l'shvarim, v'loi k'roi l'gmalim. So my word was roi for shvarim and not roi for gmalim. Be the shchichi gmalim, and if gmalim are common, pesheo. So then he's a pesheo because he should have made it to be able to withstand Camels. Either loy shchichi gemalim, and if camels are not common, onus is an onus. Ella lav. So what must be the case? The shchichi gemalim with kliyam masayr. It's talking about where the gemalim are common, and it got wormy inside. Because tani chayim, we learned the chayim. Al ma'am rinon migu david peshe lini gemalim have a peshe lini not law. So you see, since it's saying that you're chayim, there the must be that the reason is that since you didn't make a cover that would withstand camels, right? So then. You're a pesheya for the for the worms, and therefore you're chayiv. Meaning, even though the damage happened not because of the part that you were negligent, then we're still gonna we're gonna still hold you negligent. So Amri Lai, no Lai Lam Kiroi Lishvarim Velai Kiroi Lagmalim. It's talking about where it was Roi for Shvarim and not Roi for Gemalim. Ushchiki Gemalim, and they're common. They're common. It's common to have camels. If also Gemalim Varu Vasu Shvarim Venafuve came Gemalim and made it bad, and came the Shvarim and fell in. The Kakasha law of Pshita Pesheya, who is a Pesheya, right? Because the camel's around and he didn't make it to withstand camels. I did the Nos of Resha Kiseo Karai. No, since the Resha said it's Toma where he covered it properly, so Nos of Seifa Nami like Kiseo. So the Seifa also says where he didn't cover it. So basically, it's the same Shaklataria, two different versions of the basically the same, the same Shaklataria. Okay, so Toshima. Here the Brisa adds a couple of things onto the Mishnah. The Mishnah had said that if the shor is a shaita, right, a cheres a shaita a katan, then the, here it says, or it's blind, or it's going in the middle of the night so it can't see, and it falls in your chayiv. Hikeach, but if it's a smart shor umahalaf liyain, and it's going by day, potter it's potter because the shor should have seen where it's going, right? Vamai. Right, so why is he put their name of it? Why do we say? Well, since it was a since he was a pesheya for a cheresh, because if a cheresh had fallen, he'd be chayev because he didn't cover it properly. So memela, he should be also chayev for the pikeach. El lav shmami no. We hear from this loyam rina migu. We don't say migu. Meaning, we don't say that since you were a for this, you're going to be liable for this. Um, so that's the answer that we say that if you messed up on the cover of the bar, so then and that's what it fell in, then you're going to be high. But if it got if it, if it didn't, then uh, then you don't, uh, if it didn't happen because of your negligence, then you're going to be then you're going to be caught. Uh, Okay, we'll stop over there and we'll say it till him. Um.